Hello, everybody, and welcome to Malt Round. Uh, actually, Qualifier 
or I'm sorry. Oh my god. Quarter finals. Quarter, <laughs> quarter finals. Uh, my full circuit. Uh, I'm Alter Surfshoes here. Uh, hello, Surfshoes. Hello, hello. It's a pretty nice evening here where I here where I am. I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good morning for you as well. Yeah, nice and early morning. Got my coffee, got my breakfast, got my brunchies ready to go for a Maple showcase on yet again another Monday. Yeah. Uh, um, ready to? <laughs> I believe you had some things to say about the Maple before we jump straight into it. Yeah. Um. I'm honestly pretty excited about this uh, particular map pool because a lot of the picks here are going to... Actually, wait. Um, I think I summarized it in a way uh, back during, like, in the map pool discussions channel. Um, <clears throat> qualifiers was more like a trial by fire. Um, playoffs was like monotonous, but all of the picks are pretty deadly. Um, Round of 32 was more an introduction to like the more vari more variations in the charts. And round of 16 is where we started demanding um, a few things from the players uh, in terms of their performance. This time around though in the quarterfinals, a lot of the picks are going to be changing in focus. Um, in terms of what they're going to be like. Obviously, we'll still have the same categories for the, pretty much, but you'll be noticing a few things like they won't be as similar as the previous map pools, at least during the earlier elimination stages. So I guess without further ado, I think it's time for us to open this baby up. Heck yeah. Here we got the... So here we go. First map, Life is Piano uh, by Junk. Uh, wait a second. I completely forgot. This is hybrid or this is Ellen? This is first hybrid. This is our first hybrid, hybrid. in the pool. She didn't get a chance to take a look at this one. Do you know, uh, what do you know about this? Yeah, and arguably, like, what are my favorite charts in this pool? Like, there are so many good charts of this song in particular. And I would have considered also putting uh, No Names, Life in Piano. Um, was it no names or was or was it a different one? Um, I think it was Yahweh's um, rank map set. The rank map set of Life is Piano, like one of the later difficulties in the pools. But then uh, we decided to put this in. I decided to put this in the pools and said like this early on because like this chart is so good. Um, oh, like, yeah, no, there's like a variety. A, it's definitely a banger. It, it sounds really amazing as well. The BPM is not too fast either. One thirty three BPM. Uh, solid buildup. Based on what I'm looking here, looks like the patterns actually aren't too bad at all. Very rankable patterns, actually. Very solid uh, for the first half of the chart. At the moment, I don't, unless a, a random random spike comes out of nowhere at the, uh, the halfway mark. Um, oh, though. For, for the most part, I think uh, this would play more like a chord stream chart. Uh, for for the most part, really, like I guess the most similar sort of we've had, uh, we had like in comparison to this on the previous pool is probably not Marionette. Um, it might be Lancelot actually in terms of, like how focuses is on a lot of stairs. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I'm definitely seeing a regular routine of seeing one fourth Ellen paired with one uh just regular one fourth Rice. A lot of double stairs actually. And mostly core stream with a little bit of burst of 1-8. Just to sprinkle it in there. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah. Very flows really well. Looks like each pattern flows very nicely into the next. Oh, wow. And that's the first of the hybrid picks. That was actually really short at two minutes. Yeah, but we have longer picks uh, this time around in the pool, I would think. Oh, right. Like, Heck yeah. We, we, we still have a few two-minute picks, obviously. I mean, they're kind of like a staple already. Anyway, so let's move on to the next one. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. We have a Yahweh map. Mac Mock Space Journey, the Insane Diff by uh, whatever that artist's yeah. name is. Unit. Um, very solid chart. This is going to be the speed pick uh, for this order. Very fast BPM, 223. However, it's mostly focusing on one-fourth single streams with a bit more control on it. 
Pretty yeah, big um, the, the previous one was more like a consistent. It was more like a consistent, like a single scene. Like this is more, um, like you're seeing these patterns, like these alternating, alternating patterns, like some of these stairs as well that uh, cascade from your left hand to the right hand or the other way around. So I guess it, this might be a taste of what we're going to be seeing much later in in the semis and onwards because at some point we do have to touch on a few delay delay light shorts. Mm -hmm. And this is a this would serve as like a decent middle ground towards it. No no, I originally wanted to put in a uh let's see, Dan three or Dan four? Maybe in the next one. In terms of that, like similar difficulty, had trouble um, finding some actual, like, real, actual delay patterns at a quarterfinal level. So I, I mean, thought this would be even, pretty good. Even, even, even uh, without focusing, like, like getting, like, bridging to a more delay, delay style uh, later in the pool. So even mm. before that, like, even before planning that, like, we struggled to find any decent speed chart that would fit in for this round. So, oh yeah. Yeah, this this is like one of the more last resort ish picks, at least uh, with respect to as the map also left for CD. But overall, a very a very solid chart. I mean, nothing nothing could go wrong with this. Oh yeah, and it's quite short too, at one minute and forty seven seconds. Uh, but that gonna cover this map. Moving on to the next one. All right, we have stage three from the Haptaki Osamina tournament thom cup uh one of the qualifiers on that tournament from years ago we have oh Valentin's a, a little story by cryolian this is our prime this is our ellen coordination pick for this round and um actually if you think like if you're going to take a look at this um probably hybrid 2 uh, might be the nearest approximation of this chart uh, from the previous like if we're taking the previous pool and translating it to this to this map pool um Albeit like this is way more LNE, but you'd have to you'd have to consider like you like LN coordination does not does not just entail like being able to hit long notes, like being placed at pretty awkward columns. Like it also includes like being able to control your fingers with these rice uh rice notes uh just being inserted somewhere. Mm -hmm. Uh you mentioned palm curve? Oh my god, that's like like an old old tournament i played it in that back in like oh i don't know 2018 2017 oh yet. my gosh that's all yeah, <laughs> man that brought back memories anyways the actual patterns actually don't look quite tricky oh these look kind of tricky though these are tricky these are tricky i i'd say like a lot of the a lot of the app drops or maybe combo breaks are going to be coming from that pattern specifically because aside from like the anchors like you're also doing a practically polyrhythm as well with some thrilling alongside it like it this needs a lot of finger control but overall this should be this should still be within reach for a lot of the players remaining in the tournament mm -hmm. oh my gosh this guy's quite of a long song too at three minutes and 21 seconds a lot of consistency required for this. Yeah, and love... you, you know, it's like the chords are actually, actually a, a bit heavier on the sec on the second half of this chart. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm actually jamming out to this song. It's so lovely. Oh, and we have these these tricky patterns. Oh my god. I can, really Im tricky, yep. I can imagine struggling a lot with the 200s just on trying to nail the uh those one fourth or one two uh, uh one half one oh, half yeah one half yeah one quarter left oh my i got some playing coordination here too this is definitely hard i can see a lot of yeah. people struggling with this might be the most banned still um it's possible. Um, I mean, we saw Sanctuary actually become the most banned uh, chart in the round of 16. I mean, no surprises really there. But given given like uh, the rest of the pool, like not spoiling that much, you might actually want to reconsider 
what to ban because the rest of the pool are pretty is actually pretty spicy. Mm -hmm. And then it basically just repeats a bit here at the end. A little nice little little tune at the end here. Close off whoever is a uh, super close. Yeah, like yeah, you, you you cannot lose focus in, in this mm -hmm. turn at all. Alrighty, anyway. up next is one of the BMS converts that we'll be using in this tournament. We have Edelweiss, our technical pick in this tournament, arguably one of the hardest rice picks in, oh, the, in this pool. Oh my lord, this took me <laughs> took me like five tries. <laughs> oh the lord, I love this song though. Um I believe it's quite short with only two minutes. Uh, but no, there's definitely some tricky patterns in here, especially some like mini jacks. Caught me off oh, yeah, guard so bad. By the by the way, this is actually nerfed uh, from the original SL SL1 uh, chart. Uh, we had we had to nerf this a bit because like there's like certain patterns that are just like wait a minute, this is this is not good. Uh, these patterns are so fun though. I had so much fun playing these. And around the like 500 mark was when, or 400 mark, there's a pattern with the jacks on the left side. Oh my god, this part. Oh my god. This part is so good. This part is so good. It's so tricky. Anyways, overall, a solid chart. Uh, not much else goes on for a little bit I mean, we get some it, it, it definitely some, like, yeah it it gets, here. definitely get some technical single streams here which is actually really nice there's one part I'm trying to wait for is it. it the quad jacks is it quad jacks oh yeah actually oh that little part right that. i don't know it's okay what type of quadrat? I mean, they'll, they'll see it. They'll see it in a few. They'll see it. They'll see it. Like, I beg the person who edited this chart, like, whoever's going to edit it, to keep that one pattern in because <laughs> it's spicy. Mm -hmm. Coming soon. I'm not gonna lie. When I was replaying it, it caught me off guard when I got it. I missed. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we obviously have to trap those uh, cypher eating the pools. I know, right? Anyways, it's coming Gotta soon. Gotta practice. Oh my god, look at There you go. There you go. <laughs> my That's favorite not... pattern in the entire chart. I know. You gotta have, You gotta know it's coming. What is it? It'll catch you off guard. Anyways, you got some pretty tricky uh, mini jacks here on both hands. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't think like... I think um, this is like one of the charts that you could probably get away with using mirror. Like, you might have to consider using mirror, uh, depending on your hand bias. Mm -hmm. But, like, there's a lot of patterns here that are pretty pretty even on both hands. Like, so you'll have to think carefully about that. No, definitely. Definitely a very fun chart as well. But moving on to the next one. We have the second LN pick to be showcased in this pool. Oh, And one yeah. of the custom edits. Um, Crush Alcohol in chart by Makiba. And you see there from the difficulty name Malt Edit. This is our L and Density pick. Heck yeah. When I was playing this, very lovely chart. I know I saw Makaba in the Discord. He was like, I can't wait for Alter to say this is a banger. It is indeed a banger. Very enjoyable to play. Oh my gosh. These L ones are actually so engaging to play. Definitely for both hands. Like, there's barely any L and bias. Especially this one section. Oh, that's actually two sections. It's not this one. Yeah, I think it's after this section. It was so fun. I, I'm... Like, here's the thing, like, um, a lot of this chart initially is, like, oh, is more this? like single LN streams. I'm proud of this edit. I am I was the one who chart, who edited this part. I'm so proud oh, of it. Oh, really? Yeah, this was the best part. Yep. I'm not gonna lie. It was so fun. You know, this one as well. So fun. But yeah, um, faster than Super Fantasy this time around. But there's like a lot of places you, that you'll definitely be trapped. And not to mention like the final half of this, like the second half of this chart is a lot of craziness if I put pretty much. Oh yeah, no. Definitely a lot of crazy. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god. Random tiredness came out of the world. Anyways, uh... Halfway mark. Looks like it's very consistent though throughout the entire chart. Oh, yeah, no, Wait, I remember this part. I remember this part. Oh. This one is fun. There's a section where it just repeats. I think it's this part. Yeah, oh, it, no. it's the slow LN bracket. Yeah, we're yeah, about that's... to enter that part. Yeah, no, that was very enjoyable to play. Wait, like, I'd say, like, there will be a lot of players that will have problems on this part. Yep, yep. Oh, I can, yeah, no, this, like, this I part definitely was see a lot of players choking here. No, definitely. Oh my gosh. This part was so enjoyable for me to just play. Because <laughs> I love brackets. It is. This is the most fun part of the chart. And then I believe it actually ends off with your part, right? Um, this is more or... like a... This wasn't touched up that much, actually. Like, this is practically the original pattern from the from Makiba's chart. Oh, yes, yeah, no. It wasn't, okay. it wasn't touched up one on, yeah. Also, yeah, line art. Mm, nice, nice. Very enjoyable. Pretty banger. Very enjoyable. Very banger. Moving on to right, the next one. I think one. it's time for you to introduce the next set of charts. Here we have Lunar uh, by uh, Yahweh. Very nice little lovely chart. I believe this one was the uh, the court stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah by Yahweh. <laughs> The lovely little chart, 118 BPM. Yeah, just 8 BPM faster than the last one. Uh, and actually, actually a bit denser as well. Mm -hmm. 2 minutes and 40 seconds too. It's kind of long, but not really. When you're playing it, you're not going to feel it too much. Um, But overall, it's very... The patterns are structured in a way where the ratio shouldn't be too much of an issue for most players. It's just left, right at some sections like you're gonna see here but it definitely requires some control in terms of slow bracket if you're not used to slow bracket definitely gonna struggle either with some 200s or maybe even just some straight up 300 count but overall i feel like most players will very much enjoy playing this chart it's very comfortable actually it plays well or right. and every pattern flows well into the next yeah like i'll I think like a lot of people mentioned did mention like on the previous map like uh, like if baby was like five BPM faster then it could have been a more popular pick like I'll... and I think this should at least be able to cater to that audience so they do have to deal with the additional density here but as you said like a lot of the patterns here are pretty comfortable so they, they should be able to flow fine they, their main problem is just going to be able to like, whether they could get some accuracy out of this or not oh yeah no definitely <laughs> when i was test playing this the pattern you you mentioned something uh players were complaining they said if it was like five bpm faster it would turn from jacks to more comfortable when i was playing this it felt like i needed a jacket so <laughs> yeah i was at the i was at that speed where i was like god dang it i can't just, i can't my hands want a jack but by jack i'm gonna lose so much physicality <laughs> Mate, you could have phrased that sentence better, man. Oh. Like, like that could have been taken so out of context and it was sound so bad. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Um, a bit more denser patterns, like you're seeing like a uh, hexa, like six note, five note chord. Like, it's, pr it's practically like the same structure as what you had for the previous um, chord stream pick. Yeah, just be, just be a bit careful. Like try to limit your misses here if you're on that uh on that part of the remaining on that on like on the lower end of the uh, remaining players here yeah overall this should be a bit more popular bit more of a popular pick uh, this time around oh yeah a little slow jam here the 994 lovely song very lovely indeed moving on to the next one though we have all right Qualia. Qualia. Ah, yes. The hybrid yes. three okay. chart. Time, time for me to explain this. Everybody knows that I like my old charts. This one, back in my day, I mean... Like, my day. <laughs> yeah. This, 
you cannot call yourself L and Dan too if you cannot S this chart. And that's basically the reason why we have this here in this pool. This is our hybrid three pick or wild card L and pick. And like among all of the older charts, older rank charts, like this is one of those that really holds up very well even to the un even until today. Back in my day, 2014 was when this chart was right. Oh my lord. Anyways, lovely little chart. Uh definitely very challenging in terms of the actual controlling the LM release to make sure you hit the uh 320 count. I feel like a lot of players are actually going to be struggling. Just a little bit on the ratio aspect. There is a lot of different LM releases here that people have to keep in account. But it is a hybrid, so you are going to get little sections like this where you can play it as rice. Or very similar to rice. Very comfortable. There's also, I think, a section right after this that's full rice, I believe. I need to see. I forgot. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not yet. I mean, it's hard, but it's practically race, yeah, because of the triple jacks, yeah. Yeah, you get some of those jacks. Oh, I remember some of these jacks. Also, for those who are more familiar with the older L and Dan court system, you guys remember Winter Sun? Oh lord. The slow jam? That yeah. slow jam that they kept the like, begging Jin Jin on removing because mm -hmm. it's not helping the difficulty at all. Thank goodness it got. Thank goodness they, they removed Winter Sun from the Dan courses because that would have been uh, spicy. <laughs> yeah, no, it was definitely very hard. Uh, that little nice little technical jack section in the middle. Essentially, we just get a little repeat at the end here. Patterns are a little bit more trilly, or at least the rice notes are. Ellen stays pretty close to what we saw in the beginning. But the starts the, actually. I think. Pretty like short. The ending section, right? Yeah. The ending does get pretty funky though. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure oh, like, a yeah. lot of the misses are going to be coming from here. Oh my lord, yeah, now that I'm looking at it. I don't notice much when I'm playing it. Oh, this ending. Oh, fuck this ending. Oh, I dropped it harder. Uh, hard yeah. F. <laughs> be careful. Yeah, you have to be careful there because... Oh my god. You know, a, lot, a lot of swing, point swings are going to be happening in that section. I can't wait for the commentators to deal with that as well uh, in the booth. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we have now our long, like our one of the longest mind, charts in this map. Mind the Ellen releases. <laughs> yeah, there are there is some Ellens here, but yeah, uh, we have Kirby. Um, uh, Kirby. I'm pretty sure this like. Uh, wait. Um, uh, I forgot which version this was. But yeah, this is like a BMS. Like some BMS remix of one of the credits themes or one of the older Kirby games. It's very old. <laughs> yeah, it's a fairly old chart again. I'm actually kind of curious. Oh, interesting. But yeah, uh, this is like a fairly easy to act chart. Like, um, something that you'll be noticing, like, a lot of the longer picks in this pool will start to tend more. At least on like the easier to act or easier to more comfy to play uh, kind kinds of stuff. Oh, this is the long rice pick. I was like looking yep, at it, it and it was like four minutes. Oh my lord. 180 BPM2 core stream. Oh, these patterns look really enjoyable to play actually. Oh yeah, my gosh. Um, they, do need, they do need a lot of finger control. Uh, so a lot of players just need to be careful, but but like for the most for the most part though, uh, this is this is like one of the most comfortable picks to play. Oh wow, hey, these players look really enjoyable. I might play this. Also, I'm just a big like Kirby fan too, so like I I'm definitely gonna play this. <laughs> yeah, I, I also have a Kirby plush on my side table actually. Like it's yeah, a pretty I big one. Got a giant one uh, on my bed. Oh, this little... That, that pattern is fun. That pattern is fun. Oh, this pattern is just so enjoyable, actually. I got a little trills in the left hand there. Oh my gosh. I'm jamming out. Wait, wait, until, wait until we get to like more the more quieter section where it's going to be the... Um, 
what do you call it again? The green green meadows or something like that? I forgot. Mm. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Like once, once it, once the music get, gets to that part, because I think like that's the most enjoyable part of this chart overall. Oh, man, I'm jamming out to these like little bracket patterns. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, this this is it. This is a banger. Oh my lord. This is the best part. Oh, oh my lord. This this is amazing. I like this chart. I oh, really this like this is so chart. amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh no. Oh my god. This, this, this song is actually so... I'm gonna have to like find a song that's like harder difficulty. Full brackets right here. I can imagine... Yeah, this is a pretty big spread, so there's like a there's like a few harder difficulties on this chart as well. So it has, Whoa, it has a lot of difficulty for every level. Picked up there at ah, the end. Beautiful. Yeah, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. But yeah, um, something that uh, the players should take note though, um, stamina is going to be an obvious factor here since this mm -hmm. chart does clock in around four minutes so uh yeah, no. this might be more for the later picks in the pool like should some should like the match go the distance um something something also the players take, should take note of take note of is that the matches starting for this round and the semi-finals as well will be best of 11 so first to six points wow. yeah this is the rice six actually the one of the the additional rice pick uh with the expansion i know that was definitely my favorite chart in the whole pool <laughs> I was oh, for the additional for ellen pick mm -hmm. the additional ellen pick and something that um we decided on putting in the pool literally 30 minutes before the map pool showcase <laughs> no we had no we had no choice we had no choice i know you had no this choice to put it such a banger and a surf two map together yeah we had no choice like we had a different chart um slated for ln4 like the mixed ln pick so but then um somebody but like the chart that we had um wasn't a wasn't able to be finished on time um you might be seeing it at a later pool we won't say when but yeah, uh, we decided to change it to a wildcard Olympic because this chart in particular is a pretty, what, out out there at least. Also, 100% uh, LNs, no rice notes at all in this pool, in this chart. Oh my gosh. I made a donation to the tournament. I subscribed to your affiliate channel. <laughs> Yo, thanks. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have mentioned that yet because I haven't really mentioned it. But thank you to the people oh, who have subscribed. Oh, where's my announcement thank you, thank on the you. stream? I would like people thank you, thank to you. know that I subscribe. Wait, wait. I only have IRC open, so I don't. Uh, I cannot really see everything right now. But anyway, so um, here we go. We're about to enter the the main meat of the chart. Like this is a continuous one half LN stair. Like. Like just arpeggios everywhere like left hand arpeggios while the right hand if we're talking piano terms pretty much um i hope that uh, a pianist who is watching the stream because i'm pretty sure there is someone who does who does play the piano here like i'm saying the right terms did you add a emote beautiful patterns did you add an emote to your twitch yeah there, there's only one right now um like we're still waiting for I'm still waiting for like the other ones to be finished before I getting before I get them in. If you want to subscribe and support the tournament, you get a little Pikachu emote too. Hello, Sensu. Yeah, um, it's a Pikachu sipping a mug of malt. We, <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Anyways, um, here we go. Like this pattern here. Like a lot of the stuff here, like requires a lot of coordination, but then you have like a fair amount of density as well. But yeah, uh, when we say wildcard picks, like, they're, they're just going to be like the way out there picks, like something that you wouldn't be usually seeing in a tournament, but are put in because like they 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 work out. 
But this could it be categorized properly, like, like put in? Like you could say that yeah, this is Ellen release. This is Ellen creation. This is Ellen density. Yeah. Also, what are the longer Ellen picks in this pool as well? Oh wow, this is yeah, this thirty or <laughs> thirty minutes, three minutes and forty seconds. The Odie is kind of high up there too with the Odie seven. Still lovely chart though. Oh my gosh, uh, I can imagine people kind of like losing. If they lose focus, it's over. Uh, Especially yeah, if it's so like easy a, to rest here. a strong opponent. I wonder if people are going to be going for mostly full combos on this type of chart. I'd say, yeah, FC is going to be easier here than uh, just going for straight sharp shooting your accuracy. Because, um,. Like, at, at least for like uh, what I've noticed is that um, the Ellen picks in the early game, like even until now, most almost every single time, like the more you could combo, the good. I mean, the better. But obviously, like if you have the accuracy, you might as well go for it. But for this chart in particular, yeah, I think combo might be the one dictating the pacing here. Wow, what a lovely chart! Nice chart too. You did a good job, man. All right. It. Right now, for one of the custom charts in this pool, the tenth one that will be shown here on stream is our core jack pick. A definite oh, yeah. one eighty, a one hundred eighty degree turn from the previous core jack pick. We have uh, Matthias Westlands over the Northern Mountains, a chart by PWHK. That is an extremely good ratio there, also. Uh, no, no, it's not compared to one player in this tournament who will try to aim for five three hundreds. Did you see that score that they got? It was crazy. Anyways, starts pretty nice. Uh, one, I, I didn't even take a look at the BPM. Oh, it's not that fast. But the charm is actually really comfortable. Uh, no physical strain, like, whatsoever. I could definitely see players getting a random choke on, like, a chord near the end, though, when nerves start racking up. When it gets around the 2,000 mark, you're like, oh my gosh, I have an SS. Oh my gosh, my ratio is really good. Oh my gosh, am I beating my opponent? And then boom, you just get a random miss. It is just over. Yeah, that's that's what I imagined on this chart, uh, mid to match. Yeah. I I'd say that um, it's actually easier to get a few more drops in this chart, especially that um, as you notice, like the difference here compared to Chupri, the previous uh, core jack pick, uh, is that. The jacks here are a bit more spread out, like they're more stair-like, uh, more bracket-like as a core jack chart. Like the previous one is more anchory, and anchory charts are way easier to pull to play um, if you're just going to be sharp shooting for accuracy. You know, no, I definitely agree. Some the chart that before had like these long anchors at the spacebar. Oh my lord. So, so mind blockable. Uh, but anyways, I don't think there's too many long anchors in this. Just the overall chord density is a lot more dense. There's some anchors like this. There's like the four note anchors. But it's not too hard. I definitely can imagine some players the tricking up uh, on some of the four lo note long anchors paired with some more dense like triple ch uh, chords paired with them. But overall, I think for the halfway mark, it's very comfortable. This is start picking up to the second half though, around one third of the song. So it starts picking up quite a bit. Yeah, like we're gonna see like the jack like the length of like the jack stream, if if we could if you could call it that, is going to be significantly longer. I think uh once like we enter the final quarter of this chart is that it's just gonna be con consistently hitting your keyboard like you're not going to be getting too much of a break now because like we're going to see a, a few more anchors this time around but the rest of the chords are pretty spread out still as we're seeing here right now entering the last little chord of the song looks like a just a little slowed part just before the, the climax of the song it's just pretty nice the song's pretty nice i'm not gonna lie 
But anyways, jumping into the climax though, it does pick up slightly with the chords. Here we got some five note chords, six chords. Believe it gets just a little bit denser at the very end here. But still remains that consistency, I expect, with the rest of the song. Yeah, this part basically repeats from the beginning part just a little bit. But now you got the nerves, you got everything. You're like, oh my god, I'm not gonna beat my opponent. And that's about it. Lovely, lovely little chart. There we go. Yeah. Um, and that is one of the many custom charts that we have already made for this tournament. And we're going to have another one, which is the um, another of the, which is going to be our LN release pick, a collaboration between me and Irone Us. Irony O's uh, Neko Hacker Sai featuring Wotoha. Also, Ooh. I probably should have. I forgot to change the diff name. That will be changed upon upload. Hopefully, so hopefully do I do know. remember to do so. But yeah, um, those who are familiar with Irony Osu's charts would actually notice that the first, um, first half of this chart is actually their own, um, their own chart of this, which uses the original version, like this. Which is just what uh, a minute and sixteen seconds long, but this but this version um, is the full song, which would last like around mid three minutes. And yeah, I practically extended uh, this chart with Irone's permission, obviously. Yeah, lots more variety in this chart. So unlike like um, what we had from You Are My Curse, where it's going to be just like simple 8-bit patterns but here you see a bit more density like more heavy chord usages but an element of coordination is also included here not to mention um yeah a lot of a lot of timing uh timing changes as well especially once we get to the second half of this chart this is the you said this was the Ellen density, right? Or or uh, uh, release, release, release. You know, I definitely see a lot yep. of Ellen release focus patterns with a mix of coordination too. I feel like some of these players are definitely going to start just drop a little bit from a random lift of the finger on one of these long uh, Ellen notes. But overall, it's really nice. Nice song choice too. The patterns are very yeah, this engaging. Is, this is the extension. Oh. So this is also a long song. Yeah, um, a lot of more longer songs this time around because like this is where we can introduce a variety. Also, guitar solo, arguably the hardest part of the start. Be careful here because there's a lot of places where you could miss here. Especially once, you know, the guitarist just starts doing some fun stuff. Ooh. Ooh, this looks fun. This looks very enjoyable. Oh, they got some little brackets there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, overall, like, what would be better? Like, one of the really, one of my better uh, charts. Now, now, like, now that I realize it, like, seeing, seeing it on stream. Looks really nice so far. There we go. Wow. That was actually really enjoyable. All right, that is the last LN pick that we'll be showing here on stream. Like we still have two more, um, one rice and one hybrid. Let's start with the rice. And this is our technical pick. Uh, we have a Turks chart. We have a Turks chart. Turks chart and a beginner intermediate tournament. No way. <laughs> Anyways, this is Hydra Pia. Yeah. Hydra uh, or how do you, how yep, do you actually yep. pronounce it? Uh, by Turks. Uh, lovely little chart. Um, this. Uh, actually, not technical. This is oh. our mixed race. Pick. Yeah, the mixed race. Sorry, it's still pretty technical. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and speed caught me off guard. With I mean, there will be a little bit of technicality. Two fifty six BPM. Oh my lord! But it's pretty short, man. Two minutes, which isn't bad at all little burst sections like that we're gonna have a uh, some very fast one-fourth chord stream uh paired with some jacks 
That really subjects, but one, two chords, basically. But it's very yeah, enjoyable. Like type a... of, definitely very stressful, in my opinion, to try and not drop just because of the BPM. I, I'd best. say, I'd say this, like, if this gets picked in the match, like, this would be, like, um, like, what, the last, I'd say, like, this would be one of the last rice picks that are going to be remain, remaining in the pool if a match does go the distance, which I do hope so. We didn't get a tiebreaker during the round of 16, unfortunately. Like, we only had, like, a few close calls, but not a tiebreaker at all. Hopefully, we do get it this, this time around. Yeah, no, I do definitely agree. I mean, the... Oh, yeah, yeah here's, here's some little jacks. So pretty comfortable section, though, overall. It lasts about maybe, like, 15 seconds. Until it jumps into uh, where it starts just a, whole, just a little bit more dense. You got a little more direction in the patterns here, moving left to right. Then you got a little bit of addition of one-fourth streams, too. Then it comes down. I believe it enters the climax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very lovely. The climax is just more... It's <laughs> just more... Just oh, that's what the trail. Yep, that's beautiful. It's got even more. I forgot about the trail. Yeah, definitely lots of point swings that are going to happen at, at the ending of this chart. So, again, commentators, maybe brace for impact. That includes both of us, obviously, since we're commentate we are part of the commentary team. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Just, now, that's the last a, right stick. Make map more low map. Uh, more low SR stuff so we can pick it. <laughs> All right, mean. now time for the last hybrid pick and try the curse. Oh, I oh see my. no one in the background. I, I saw this in the freaking pool and I was like, what the heck? I knew you were saving this for the last. <laughs> this is amazing. Yup. John Cena theme go. gent cover. John oh Cena theme. <laughs> John Cena theme. <laughs> Oh Ooh. my lord. Oh my this is amazing. Have you eaten some bing killing? <laughs> I, I want some bing killing. I also want some lao gan ma. <laughs> I hope this doesn't get banned in match. I want to see people play this. Uh, this, this, this. This shouldn't be banned. I mean, this is what, arguably one of the easier hybrids we actually have. Like, that's outside, um, outside Life is Piano, because obviously Qualio might be a pretty unpopular pick. Um, but yeah, arguably one of my favorite picks in this pool. Yeah, we're we're literally speechless. Literally speechless. <laughs> And yeah, um, we're gonna see BC like more of these patterns maybe as we enter the, the final part. Alright. This also this is, um This is what I'm gonna listen to mm -hmm. when I need a, a pump during my workout session. Just listen to John Cena theme. Oh yeah. Get my muscles going. Get my <laughs> Osu gamer muscles just tingling. Oh what's well, already over? Oh we need an extended version. Um, that that's John Cena, Steve. But where? What? Who is John Cena? I see no one in the background. Like it's so empty. <laughs> Anyways, so Anyways, uh, that is all of the irregular picks at the pool. And now here we co here comes a tiebreaker and arguably the best one of the best custom charts that we've made. Like has some somebody has made in this map pool. We have Rigel Theater Luri. A chart by Irone Osu, like a solo chart, not a collaboration this time. Unlike the previous two and like previous three tiebreakers that we've shown, which is basically like a core theme, like a few LN somewhere or an outright stamina chart, this is when we as a map pool, we in the map pool team are going to be starting a few more technical a few more technical skills from the players, and this chart is a one way to bridge towards that direction. Here we go. I'm very excited to see this. This is my first time seeing it. Oh my lord. Oh my 
god, it's got a little build up in the beginning too. I mean, if you, I think like if you're a player, like you shouldn't be skipping this. Like, just try to get in the mood. Like, a few a few ghost steps here or there, probably. Because this chart is six minutes long. Um, if Whoa. I am, if I if I remember correctly. Six so yeah, up. we have a pretty long tiebreaker. Also, massive props to Hirone Osu. Like, mm -hmm. this chart is so beautiful. Like, I, I don't, I don't like when they posted like, the draft here. Like, it just said like, yeah, this does not any, need any edits. I think this is good to go. And they were actually pretty nervous about the difficulty of this chart, uh, especially what what we had for the previous round, uh, Cappuccino. This this is a different kind of difficult. Uh, the previous one is like stamina difficult. This is just like a technical difficulty, as you see with the Ellens, they come in here. Like a lot of coordination is going to be needed here, and a lot of technical skill as well, because the rice bat, the rice here are going to be placed in places where you are going to be leading you more towards uh, choking. Wow. Some of these actual, these patterns, actually look, these patterns look really well made. They look so innovative and really good too. I'm seeing a mix of multiple patterns here, mostly Ellen. I'm kind of curious to see what a, like, a full rice section looks like in this. Oh my god, Ellen just look so amazing. What are we ranking this? Hey, Ron, we gotta rank this. We gotta rank this. We gotta rank this. No mods. It's already perfect. Yeah. Just, just put us hit sound. <laughs> hit sound sample. I, I, I do think there is one, uh, if I remember correctly. All right, here we go. More of the, more of the rice now. Oh, ooh. Is that a BPM change? It is. Wait, this actually looks so amazing. Wait, this looks actually really fun. Mate, we gotta have a tiebreaker this round, please. Wait, this is actually amazing. It's so good. I've seen so many different varieties of patterning. Ooh. Yeah, court, a pretty dense chord stream here with a few jacks in, with a few jacks inserted as well. Like, oh man, here we go! Like the most fun pattern in my opinion. Wow, this started everything. It's that, this is a tasty sight read. <laughs> tasty for seven K US MWC win, Captain. Now this, this, the fat, like, some of these speed patterns, like, um, something that you'll be always going to be seeing much, uh, in the later pools, like, long sounds being charted with, with rolly stairs, like, just practically a delay pattern. Uh, th this part in particular is going to be pretty tricky to maintain your combo, if I'd say, because, like, those are brackets in disguise. Wow. Wait, this actually looks so fun with these rice-only sections here. Got some little jacks, got some one fourth streams. Oh, we got a little Ellen release Ellen section here. Our Ellen cord. Yeah, this part is so. This part oh. is actually pretty fun. Uh, definitely going to be seeing a lot of misses here if you're not prepared. You do not want to sight read this, sight read this tiebreaker oh. at all, I would think. Got a little miss there. Now, BP BPM change. Like, the song's getting a bit faster this time. Jamming out to the song. It's actually so amazing. Yeah, this, this battery is gonna be so demanding on the players. Yeah, welcome to Dan 3. Essentially, like this this is a Dan 3 chart. Maps by Irone, the BN. Like Dan really 3, nice. Dan 4 ish. Like, these are like the stuff that you should be able to start. 
to be able to start to play one Cedric around this level, around the Dantry Dan four level. Dang. It does pick up here at the very end. But overall, like all of the patterns here are still super comfortable. Just have to be pretty careful mm -hmm. with a lot of places, especially that other coordination section like it like at the second half of the chart and even in the ending. Wow. And what that's a, a tiebreaker. What a pretty chart. Ah. What a pretty chart indeed. Run did a good job on that. Anyways. That's the quarterfinals map pool. Very beautiful map pool, if I'd say if I could say clap, clap, Our, clap. Honestly, I think like this is like the I'd say like this is the best map pool that we've already dished out in this tournament, and there's still three more rounds. Still three more rounds of some bangers to come out. So two, uh yep. people you guys can start looking to conditional matches start being scheduled now. Luckily, yeah, thank um, to Albion for getting that sorted because they're amazing and lovely and beautiful. Um, got anything more to say? I, I'm not sure if uh, Albion has the bracket, like the matchups prepared on stream. Um, but if they're not, um, I guess um, just to mention, like the obligatory stuff, uh, match schedules will be released uh, like within the thir next 36 hours. Though I do think uh, they're already done. And they might be already in the master sheet. Uh, just give that a look. All custom charts and edits made for this map pool will be uploaded once their charters are available to do so. Good luck and have fun to all the players here. And again, remember there are conditional players in the losers bracket are going to be playing at most two matches. So please take note that take note of that once you're if you're going to reschedule your matches. Other than that, though, this is. Alter and Surf 285 signing off. Bye bye.